Most people probably think that E.K. Gaylord was an 89er who came here during the land run of 1889, but he didn't. Edward King Gaylord was born in 1873 in eastern Kansas, but grew up in Colorado. At the age of 18, he attended Colorado College in Colorado Springs, where his older brother Lewis suggested they buy the Colorado Springs Telegraph. The Gaylord brothers later sold the paper. Lewis Gaylord bought the St. Joseph, Missouri Dispatch and convinced E.K. to work for him as business manager. And at Christmas 1902, he read an interview with the mayor of Chicago, who traveled through the Oklahoma Territory, and in the interview said that if he was a young man, Oklahoma is where he would settle. Gaylord took the next train, arriving first in Guthrie, then the next day came to Oklahoma City. I came down here in December 1902, right after Christmas, and uh, I first walked all around the town, all around the business section. It's supposed to be about 10,000 population, but it's just a, a country town. Four blocks were paved, two on Broadway, one on Grand, and one on Main between Broadway and uh, Robinson. Roy Stafford, who owned the Daily Oklahoman, was glad to have an investor, sold Gaylord part interest in the paper, then hired him as the business manager. The office for the paper was on Main Street. That block across the, from the Huckins, but the Huckins head, of course, was uh, called Battle Row. And all of the buildings upstairs and down, except the uh, Saddle Rock restaurant and the city hall on the corner of Grand and Broadway, uh, were gambling houses and uh, saloons. And in the Teuton Saloon that was next to this restaurant, Bossy Mulhall, from Mulhall is named for her father, of course, rode her horse into the saloon and had a whiskey straight without getting out of the saddle. 